from time to time, I like to keep it real loose around here and uh, just take a well, little question and answer segment with my audience. You know, it's a great way for me to get closer to my fans. So I thought we'd try it right now in a little segment I'm calling. Ask me anything except what happened in the lake house that summer. All right, this should be fun. Uh, who's got a question? How about, yes, you? Yeah, uh, well, I was gonna ask who some of your favorite guests are, but I gotta be honest, right now, I just wanna know what the hell happened in that lake house. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, as the name of the segment clearly states, I will answer any question except anything related to what happened at the lake house that one summer, okay? <laughs> Everything you need to know about that incident can already be found in the police report. <laughs> I would say Martin Short is the best guest that I could have consistently. He's terrific. Next question. Um, two questions. Yeah. Um, I love carpool karaoke, and what happened at the lake house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. First part was not actually a question, and carpool karaoke, that's James Corden. And, uh, yeah. Okay, a second part, while well, definitely a question, was about the lake house, which I'm not at liberty to discuss. So, I'd also like to add, apropos of nothing, I have an extremely common blood type. Just something for people to know. <laughs> Next question, please. Yeah, sir. Hi, um, are there any celebrities you hang out with outside the show? Yeah, sure. Kevin Nealon uh, is, is, a, is a great old friend of mine. Sometimes we get together and, and hang out. Was he with you at the lake house? <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, I was mistaken. I've never met Kevin Nealon. <laughs> I don't know Kevin Nealon. Next question. Uh, just curious. What's the statute of limitations for false imprisonment and wrongful death? Okay, in New York State, false imprisonment is one year, wrongful death is two years from the time of death. I didn't specify New York State. Is that where the lake house is in? <laughs> Next question. Keeping in mind, I've already made my position very clear about the lake house. Well, what the hell happened at that lake house? I want answers now, goddammit! <laughs> Andy, we know that's you. That's pathetic. Let me <laughs> Look like a sick Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> let me just say this. Most lake houses are very old and full of all kinds of hazards, like faulty wiring, loose banisters, leaky gas lines. A lot of accidents can happen in lake houses, including things that might even seem implausible to a jury, like a canoe fire or a deadly owl attack. All right, next question. Yes, uh, hi. Hi. Uh, do you recognize this blood-soaked toupee? I'm sorry. <laughs> is this about the lake house? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> okay, next question. Oh, for God's sakes. No! No, somebody else. Somebody else, please. Yes, yes. I, uh, I have several questions for you, Mr. O'Brien. Great. What's your name, sir? Detective Dennis McDaniel, Saratoga <laughs> Police Department. Okay, that's all the time we have for tonight. Ask me anything.